And if you have a loved one that is getting to that point where they may need to be in assisted living center, why not put them in a brand new one? I want to bring in Jeff Southard. He is with Bellevue Assisted Living and Memory Care. It's brand new in Lehigh. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Hi, good. Thanks for having us on. Good. So you're opening up today, Friday, May 1st. Congratulations. Very exciting. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about the facility. Yeah, we're really excited. It's been a two-year process to open here in Lehigh, and it's a 73-bed assisted living and memory care. So we've got 22 studio or one-bedroom apartments uh, or, or memory care apartments, and then 51 assisted living. What's the difference between those when you say a memory care facility versus just a regular room? Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, great question. The memory care is a lockdown facility portion where people who suffer from Alzheimer's or other cognitive disabilities and can't care for themselves and would be at risk of wandering uh, are locked down. Makes sense. Okay, so you've got those available. You also have uh, just your regular rooms, and I know that you have a lot of entertainment and fun things going on for those that want to be more social at an assisted living center. Yes, exactly. We know they have a lot to offer still, and they want to be independent. So yeah. some of the classes, once this uniqueness ends, yeah. will be where they can teach residents in the area, whether they know how to watercolor or cook or things like that, so that they're giving back to the community like they have throughout their lives. I love it. That's a great way. And it keeps them going as well. And they're sharing their passions. Now, through all this craziness or uniqueness, as you said, uh, with COVID-19, how are you making it safe for residents moving in and those that still want to either tour or see it? Yeah, we've decided to go above and beyond the requirements that the CDC and the Utah Health Department have. So everyone will be checked for temperatures twice a day. But the biggest thing we're doing is all of the residents will be tested for the COVID virus at an urgent care a half a block from us before they're allowed to move in and stay there. Okay, so making sure for that. And then what about for visitors or people who are maybe looking for a center? Uh, are you doing virtual tours? Yeah, everything has to be virtual once the residents are there. We will only allow essential personnel in the building. I love it. Well, it sounds like a, and it looks like a beautiful new center. And you know what? These are things that are so important in so many people's lives when they get to that age and they really do need to live out uh, the rest of their lives the best way possible. And that's why you guys are here. So we appreciate it. And if people want more info, how can they find it? BellevueAssistedLiving.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jeff, and congratulations on the new facility. Thanks so much.